SMB relay attack is another important attack against Active Directory. In our practical lab, we have one DC and also two clients, and there is also a domain user called sdrops that is also the local admin of another client system. We're going to use this issue and perform our SMB relay attack against this network and against this lab. The full guide of this attack is available on our website sunskytech.com. We have also explained how we can do SMB relay attack even when the SMB signing is forced. So let's just dive into it. The first step is using Nmap in order to scan all of the hosts and scan all of the systems that their SMB signing is not forced. For doing that, we type Nmap P, which stands for port port 445 which is for sme and we're going to use a script called sme2 security mode.nse nse stands for nmap scripting engine there are some scripts available with with an nmap that they are provided with um, nmap and they will help us in order to perform some different and difficult scannings against different different system and hosts so this script is going to help us in order to scan the hosts that their SME signing is not forced or just check their SME signing status. And we're also going to give the whole subnet, which is in this case, this is the whole subnet. In this case, we're also going to use dash p and this switch. Um, we, out, we use this switch because Nmap normally uh, has some ping probes at the beginning of its scanning in order to make sure that the hosts that it's going to scan are online. But some hosts, they have some protections and they notice that they are under some scanning processes and they will not respond to this ping probe and uh, in this way Nmap thinks that they are not online and they, it cannot perform the scanning against them. This switch will help us to just tell Nmap that assume that all of the hosts are online. So just scan all of them. And also we can use at the beginning sudo so it can just do its task as best as possible. And until it's just trying to do its task, let me show you something here. And if you just forget the name of that special uh, script, you can just use the command ls and just go to this directory, user, share, and map scripts and you can also use pipe in the command grep in order to make more filters so let me just uh, say dash e stands for extended and for example i want to just search about sme2 or maybe a version such a thing like that so you can just hit enter and as you can see we have gotten a bunch of different nse files here so there are different scripts for us that they are for nmap and you can see that sme2 security mod nse is available there so just in case that you forgot uh, the name of that script it's just a good command and here let's just go and see what has nmap gathered for us as you can see here what we have here is this uh, we have gotten this IP address 192.168.1.118 and uh, it has just told us that the message signing is enabled but not required. Great, it means that it's not forced. So SMB signing is enabled but it's not forced. <clears throat> also, we have another uh, IP address here and uh, let's see. We have the 130 here, and it's also saying that message signing enabled but not required. Great. So both of these two guys, they are uh, their SMB signing is not forced. And we have also we've gotten another IP address that's 116, and just have a look here. It says message signing enabled and required. Which means that most of the time, the servers, like the DC that I just told you we have in our lab, uh, their SMB signing is enforced and it's required. So let's just um, let's just get the create a target file for ourselves and just enter. Uh -huh. I have already created that set. 
uh, I have already created that target file and we can just enter the IP addresses of those systems that their SME signing is not for screen. I have already done that. So I will close it and I will clear here. Now we're going to uh, use a great tool called Responder and what exactly it does, it's just interceptor of the network traffic. So it will intercept the network traffic and uh, before doing anything, let's just change a little bit configuration that this Responder tool has. So I am going to use sudo mousepad and I'm going to go to this directory etc. Responder. Responder.conf. So let's just hit enter. Pay attention. Uh, if you just open it for the first time, SMB and also HTTP will be on for you. You have to turn it off in this scenario and in this attack. So that responder is enabled to, first of all, catch the NCLM v2 hash and then send it to other tool that we're using in this attack. So after making sure that they are off, let's just uh, close this. Okay, now we're going to use responder. Dash I, which stands for interface, and I'm going to just write the name of my inf interface. That's wireless LAN zero, and V for verbose. It will give some detail information, and we have also D, which stands for LLMNR, and also W, which stands for W path. Great. Um, I'm going to also use sudo at the beginning of it. So let's just hit enter and um, just for checking http server is off great smb server is also off great so we have also we are also going to do a great thing here and that's uh actually setting up the second tool the second tool that we're going to use in this scenario that's called ntlm relay x <laughs> it's a little bit hard to type but that's ntlm relay x and this tool what does it do exactly so it will get the ntlm v2 hash from the responder responder just caches that uh, credential it the responder catches the credentials of the domain user s jobs it will just uh, send it to this tool ntlm relay x and this tool will send that uh, credentials to all of the hosts that their sme signing was not forced and according to this reason that the domain user s jobs is the local administrator of another client system uh, it will be successful in order to dump the same hashes of that system so we're going to use dash tf which stands for the target file and the target file that we created was called target.txt and we also we're also going to use smb to support we make sure by this switch that NTLM Relix is using SMP2 protocol so that it can speak with the systems that they are using the second version of the SMB protocol. And do not forget the sudo. Okay, so it's okay here and it's also okay here, responders. So the only thing that you have to do here is just going to the system apple so that's the system of step jobs and i'm going to just log in and here just imagine that um for example i'm going to um have a look on a shared folder called dc and i'm just mistakenly type i don't know something like <laughs> something like that this shared folder does not exist but Actually, there is a shared folder on the DC and that's called hack me, but I'm not going to type it correctly. So just with some mistake, a mistake in typos with some typos and let's just see what happens. So it says Windows cannot access DC, blah, blah, blah. So let's just see here what happens in, uh, in the background. In the background, what happens is this. Actually, the client here, it was just asking our DC that it wants to get access to this shared folder which actually doesn't exist the dc tells the, the client apple the client that hey such shared folder does not exist so please ask other guys with lmnr protocol and in this case this system asked other guys in the domain that hey do does anybody know about this shared folder and in this step our tool which is called responder told that yeah of course i know that but if you want to get access to this shared folder please give me your ntlmv2 hash so the s jobs just 
uh, sent the NTLME2 hash to this guy responder because it, we were using a Laminar protocol in this responder. And the responder sent that uh, NTLME2 hash to this um, NTLM relay X. Uh, it seems that here is uh, nothing is working yet because the dump some uh, the same hashes are not dumped yet. But let's see. Cancel, diagnose, cancel. If I just proceed a little bit more, let's see what happens. It might take a little bit, so maybe I have to come here. Uh, And search this one maybe, or maybe I have to just put a typo here. Any of them can be can trigger. So here, yes, we have already got it. So look at here. Um, the responder just took the NTLM v2 hash. The NTLM v2 hash was sent to the NTLM relay X, and NTLM relay X sent that to the local to this system to the Microsoft system. Where is it? It's here to the Microsoft system. And in this system, uh, we have, uh, we have gotten the same hashes, the dump of the same hashes. Look at here. We have administrator, local guest, default account, great and Bill Gates. So that was the, uh, that was, they were the local, uh, users of the system. Microsoft and as you can see this is their LM and this is their NTLM. Great, we have successfully dumped the same hashes. Bravo!